Hello guys, uh, in this video I will show you a simple barcode based inventory management system uh, which I have set up using MS Excel and my mobile phone. Uh, there is no cost attached to this application unless uh, you do not own a mobile phone or a license for MS Excel which I believe is very unlikely. Uh, so here is a video tour of my application and this is the first page that I have set up. Uh, this is a sample page. Uh, with some demo products and demo product codes uh, these are the main uh, columns which are going to show up the actual numbers quantity in is when you check in a new product into your inventory quantity out similarly when you check out a product from your inventory and quantity left is the number of products that are left in your inventory you can of course calculate your inventory cost with this number as well as you can see there are multiple uh, pages at the bottom and for every sheet I'll show you its particular feature and functionality so let's move on to barcode page and the barcode page uh, you can create barcodes for each of your products as you may know that barcode is nothing but just a font so I have mentioned a link to uh, barcode font in my description you can go ahead uh, into the link uh, download the barcode font and install it in your uh, computers so uh, this is the product code Make sure that you write the product code between the stars as you can see in my formula bar that I've written the product code in between uh, the stars and then you just have to go up into the fonts and change it to uh, free 3 of 9 x 10 that is the name of the barcode font. So this is the code 39 barcode and uh, once you change the font the barcode shows up here exactly like it is here. And then in the QR code section uh, this is an added value uh, added feature so just make sure while you go ahead to create a QR code you keep your internet on as uh, it is using API's which requires uh, internet for creating your QR codes I have automated this process as well and you just have to go ahead and write any description about your product in the description column and just click enter and you can see a product code uh, a QR code will show up here so for each QR code I'll I would like to discuss the the formula as well here so that uh, if you want to create a new product category so you know uh, how to write the formula as well which can be really handy here so here as you can see in the QR value this is D3 column which means this one and this is referring to the description which is going to show up once you scan the QR code whatever description is there in this column is going to show up in the phones as well and this is the name that is referencing to each image uh, to identify it, identify them uniquely so it's a QR code uh, feature which you can use if you wish to however moving on to the main functionality of this application which is inventory management and here uh, this is the inventory check-in page and uh, here you first have to go ahead and install this particular application in your laptops or computers and I mentioned the link to scan IT to office uh, in the description as well uh, they have mentioned the steps how to install the app how to install the add-in and how to pair your mobile phone uh, with the application so that your mobile phone works like a barcode scanner and then you can just go ahead and start scanning the barcodes and uh, the barcodes will start popping up here uh, in your screen and I've written the formula that will automatically uh, start counting your inventory in the first page that we that we saw initially this one so let's see how it really works uh, I've already connected my phone uh, there's a good part about this application that you can add as many mobile phones as you want so for example if you have more than one user who is counting the inventory they can use their own phones uh, without any problem however uh, there is one thing that I've noticed that if you scan the barcodes uh, about five to six times then it's gonna show up a message that it's a demo version please subscribe to the full version uh, I mean if you want to go ahead and subscribe there is no problem with it because uh, it's actually not a very expensive application which is uh, the subscription cost is just 4.49 uh, dollars per month 
but if you don't want to pay anything initially so you just have to scan another time and there is no problem uh, with it so I'll show you how the scanner works I have already configured my phone and as you can see my mobile is uh, the application is showing that it's connected to my phone and I'll show you how the scan works so as you can see I just scanned the first product and the product shows up that shows up there I'll just scan few more times so that I have a number in my I have a big number in my inventory so yeah like I was saying as you can see that it says uh, at one point it said that it's a demo version please subscribe to full version this was exactly what I was talking about but you don't have to worry you can start scanning again and see it's working smoothly so yeah so now that I've checked in um, this particular product quite a few times into my inventory let's see so yeah I've scanned this product seven times and this uh, this is the number of products that I've uh, that I've scanned into my inventory uh, right now and this is the number of products that are left in my inventory right now as I have not checked out any product let's go ahead and check out a few products from my inventory let's and it is again uh, the same process there is uh, there is no uh, rocket science behind it you just have to go ahead and again scan the the products uh, with the same application so here I go ahead and start scanning again so let's see how it works now I have scanned out three products from my inventory and it should show that I have four products left oh exactly right I was saying uh, so seven times I checked in one product and three times I've checked it out so there are four products left in the inventory I mean uh, on the face of it it looks pretty a simple application however I think uh, doing it with the bar just by scanning with your mobile phone makes it much more easier than actually counting it manually counting your products manually so just make sure uh, that for each operation you keep the respective tabs open for example once you're checking in uh, a new product into your inventory keep the inventory check-in tab open for scanning once you're checking out uh, any product keep the inventory check out tab open so for each operation whenever you're scanning a product code keep that respective tab open and for QR codes uh, keep your internet on rest I have given the instructions uh, in the link to my SourceForge page you can go ahead into the link given mentioned in my description and uh, please let me know if you have any problems in the comment section Thank you so much for listening.